lads and lasses, it's Roscoe here bringing you another vlog and today I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about some Scottish re remedies that we have here that we use on a regular basis. Now, I've only got a handful because they were the only ones that I could come up with on such short notice to do this video. However, I'm, I'm guessing that there's probably a whole world more. So if you've got any that you know of that I haven't been included in this video, let me know in the comments below because I'd love to hear from you guys and where you're from as well. So first up, probably like the most obvious one is I am brew as a hangover cure. Now usually this goes with like a breakfast roll as well. Sometimes a square sausage, yes we have those here, they are tasty as anything. Square sausage and tatty scone inside a roll, a wee bit brown sauce and a can of iron brew or a bottle of iron brew. Although we're trying to protect the planet just now so less plastic, so a can of iron brew would be better. You know, getting that done you, that's your best bet for a wee hangover cure. There's something about the sugar in iron brew or there used to be something about the sugar and iron brew that would just help you overcome your hangover. Who knows nowadays though with this new recipe and the reduced sugar whether or not it's going to have the same medicinal benefits. Another one and even although this isn't Scottish it's something that a lot of Scottish families were brought up using. Now you out there probably will not have heard of the magical magical cure for unsettled stomachs. So I know ginger and things and ginger ale or whatever is used elsewhere in the world but if you have been vomiting and quite severely and you need to get your stomach back into that perfect balance of you know sugar to glucose to salt content to stop it continually vomiting then the best thing to use to settle your stomach is a miracle called Lucozade. Now they used to actually sell this inside the pharmacies here in Scotland and probably in Britain as well. You guys down in England and Wales and everything you'll have to let me know if that's the case where you're from too. But this used to be sold in the shops not only because it's got a lot of glucose content which can make it very good for a diabetic person who is in the middle of a hyperglycemic attack. I think I said that right. Hypo. Is it hypo when you go high? I don't know. Anyway you, you guys will be able to correct me on that one but when your blood sugar goes too low that is when you would use some form of Lucozade to try and bring it back up. Of course the benefits of it aren't long term it's definitely a bit of a sugar rush so you go kind of straight up with it but sometimes it's better than nothing. But where it really comes in handy is if you have been vomiting on the back of a stomach bug, a flu, if you is on the back of you know something really severe like food poisoning and you need to balance out your stomach again Lucozade has a perfect perfect balance of glucose to sort of like sugar to salt content that you need to just settle your stomach. A few sips of Lucozade and you'll be feeling so much better and it is like something that the gods have given you. It is that good. Next up, you're walking, you're out walking, it's that magical two days of the year when the sun is out in Scotland and you're going out for a walk with your granny and you know you're running through the bushes and you're playing with sticks and all of this sort of stuff but oh and lo and behold your bare arms have been exposed to jaggy nettles as we call them which are those horrible plants that sting you all up and down any bare skin. What do you do? You grab yourself a dock leaf and you use it to rub up and down against the stinginess and it stops that horrible itching and prickly sensation. You keep using the dock leaf to rub against it and eventually the symptoms lift. They start to feel better. So your dock leaf when you were out was a huge thing for me when I was a child. My gran would always grab us one as soon as we'd been stung by jaggy nettles and hand us them. Go to the point as an adult now where I walk through them and I get really big massive jaggy stings and I'm like meh. I'm so used to them now that I don't even feel it. Next one is probably going to surprise some people because I want to start by saying I do a lot of very sarcastic Scottish vlogs. I do. Nine times out of ten my videos are sarcastic. This, I promise you, is not sarcastic. And it is using whiskey on a baby that is teething. Not joking. Tiny little bit, you would, you, the granddads, the dads, the papas would take their finger into their glass of whiskey wee bit on their finger and in the mouth of the baby rubbing it gently on the gums just like that and it helps it genuinely helps it helps with that pain probably because the little ones become drunk and it just would usually ease them and help the baby get to sleep again probably because they're inebriated uh, but you know it's still a, a common thing that's used today and I wouldn't recommend giving your baby 
it to drink, but just a wee bit on their gums, just a wee bit on their teething, swollen, aching gums. It's actually very good, and I suppose when you think about it, high alcohol content is actually used as a disinfectant, so maybe there is some kind of actual health benefit there. And next up, okay, so it was uh, several people that um, uh, uh, discovered this, but I think the Scots were the first to use it for what it was actually designed for. So you've got screaming kids, as you get, you know, children running around screaming, crying, you know, for no reason other than they're just being a little shit. Unlike the baby who is teething has sort of genuine reason to cry because they're in pain and they're not feeling well. But when you've got children just generally being a little crap, let's say that you're in the supermarket and they want a packet of chewits and you're saying, no, you're not getting a package of chewits. And they start screaming and throwing things and going down on the ground and crying and throwing a tantrum. Uh, you just pop a wee bit of this on air, a wee bit of cloth, ruined the mouth, chloroform, knocks them straight out, it's great. So you, there's another thing that you can use, there's another wee home remedy for screaming kids, a wee bit of chloroform and that's it. You, you, you won't even notice that they're there, it's great, you could just drag them by the hood across the supermarket. You know, they maybe have a wee bit of a dirty bum but it's better than a Syrian. And that is all we've got time for today, so if there are some home remedies where you guys are from that I didn't mention in this video, I know there's loads of uses of honey, loads of uses of lemon and vinegar and all of that stuff I didn't manage to cover in this video, but I will be doing probably a future video like this if you guys liked it. Give it a big thumbs up for me because it really helps me out. Don't forget to click that subscribe button because I put up a new video every single week and it is free to subscribe to a YouTube channel. Uh, let me know in the comments below if there was anything that I missed or anything where you are from as well. And don't forget to check Check out my ladder last of the week. You can see them sitting right over there. Don't forget to check out my other videos as well. And I will see you next week with another vlog. But until then, haste you back, guys.